Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching Run BTC, yes, <laughs> welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers, my name is Didi Tayutu, I hold all my Bitcoins and I believe that Bitcoin is going to run very soon, at least hmm, this bull run is not over in my opinion, yes, you can see mountains, palm trees and a surfboard, strange combination, but beautiful place with beautiful views guys let's jump into the chart because today i'm giving you a short but really powerful ta update video on the four hour chart but i have one two three four i think five other charts that you need to see at this moment this moment now so please watch the video till the end very powerful information let's jump into the first chart. bam chart guys the chart and um, i always look at in the beginning of the videos this is the chart yesterday again this bottom there around 31,100. and uh, even i was at a little bit freaking out because my bot was almost liquidated if it dropped a little bit more two thousand dollar i would have a liquidation of two bitcoins and um, so i needed to manually add some bitcoins lower the liquidation level at that point uh, which saved the trade and i stopped out somewhere over there when we went down again because I thought um, I, I had people coming over, visitors coming over, we were eating somewhere and I didn't want to attend the chart. So I was like, okay, is this is going to drop? I lose two Bitcoins. So I took a hit of 1700 US dollar loss. Um, I shouldn't have done that because at the end it would have closed positive. But sometimes even I don't trust the bot or just want to be more safe. And then I take a hit because the bot already made me a shitload of profit in the last couple of weeks. If I would have just stayed calm, which would have been possible if I didn't <clears throat> drink some rum, uh, <laughs> I could have seen that the long flag on the Bitcoin uh, family bam bam was shown, that we were closing a candle above the yellow stepping line. I could have seen that the blue turned into green. I could have seen that the bam bam crossed the white line. So I could have guessed that we would have gone to the top over there. But sometimes uh, I don't think it's the most wise thing that you can do is to have some drinks and trade. So <laughs> even I make that mistakes. But guys, uh, beautiful how it works here. The short flag, uh, you think, ah, oh, we should take a short. No, we should see a closing candle down below the yellow stepping line. We shouldn't see green. We should see blue or yellow. We should see the bam bam crossing the white line we didn't see all of that so that's not a valid short it's still in that long which would have been a very nice profit i chose to sit in a really strange place where the sun is shining on my screen but that's a 3.8 percent profit over there without leverage with leverage uh, it would be in uh, ooh, 38 percent leverage uh, profit if you had used the leverage of 10 guys let's jump into the next very interesting chart bam this is the chart that shows you the gaussian channel Gaussian channel, yeah, this, to keep it simple, you have green areas, you have red areas, and you have a midline. This is the day chart. When we look at the day chart on the Gaussian channel, we can see that we uh, turned from green to red, and we broke the bottom line of that Gaussian channel over there. I'm going to zoom in. You see, there, we turned from green to red. That is not bullish, that is bearish. But if you look back into the bull run of 2017, for example, you can see in the beginning over here of the bull run, we turned red as well, and still we went hugely up. If we go even further back, and this is the cool part, because I think we are copying 2013-14 move. Look, we were way above, we broke down, we got that red time, V-shape bounce into the red part, and then we broke up again and we turned green, and that was again the last part of this huge bull run. So for me, that is what is happening at the moment. Um, this is the one day. I think it's more powerful when you take a, a Gaussian channel on, on, on a multi-day, like for example, let's change it to like five days. Yes, now we have it. Um, so this is now the five day Gaussian channel on the BLX. And there we can see, that we are finding support on the top. That's beautiful to see this because we have the first wick over there, 
second week over there, third week finding support, fourth week, and now the body finding support. Now, this is a five day chart. So that means that every candle is five days. This started on the 5th of June. This one is closing the 10th of June. This should be closing above that green area, that green line. So that we should find support on the top of the Gaussian channel. If we close a candle body inside of this channel, we can expect the Bitcoin price to go even a little bit more lower. Because if you look back in history, then every time you enter that channel, you can see over here, and we go with a full body, we go lower, almost to the midline even. Then we bounce, and if we can't stay above it, we go lower again, you see? And that's how the Gaussian channel works. Um, here, this was a 2017 bull run. That is when we went in. That is when the bear time stopped, uh, started. We were still going bouncing around that midline. When we broke the midline, then that was the end of the bull run. And then you saw the red, huge bearish period. So for me, the five day is more secret, uh, uh, more important than, than uh, the one day. And the five day, you can see the same over here. You know, this is the moment in 2013 you broke it. We broke through it, we went to the bottom, and we came into the red consolidation, and then we broke it again to the top, and that is when the bull run started. So, very interesting to um, keep an eye on the Gaussian channel. Um, I will leave in the comments where uh, you can find this one, because it's a free indicator, of course, on trading view, guys. Uh, soon I will show them also on other platform, but I will keep you up to date on that one. Here we are still green if we bounce, very positive that would be the same like we bounce in 2017 during the bull run and um, you know all these times over here that we bounce from it bounce from it that is when we go up beautiful let's jump into the next chart bam yes a lot of beautiful charts um, we have the bearish cross that was the 50 ma crossing down to the 200 ma been talking about this for weeks now if this is going to happen if we would follow these lines yeah it's around the 19th of june 19th of june we could see this bearish cross which would mean um, that is not bullish but bearish again it is a lagging indicator as the cross is happening because here the big dip happened on the 11th of may that's what we see also in the past if we look to this bearish cross over there that happened over there because the dip was a few weeks earlier over there and then be aware this one was 20 of march 24 of fourth of march that is when the cross happened that would be the moment you start to freak out. Oh no, we are going to go die. Bitcoin is going to zero. That is you know, the, the moment you think, ah, it's bad, it's over. Look what happened after March 20. This is like the bull run you are now in. So it's not always that that bearish cross is that bearish. It is short term bearish, but long term it can still turn bullish. And we can also bounce, but I will come back to that later, guys. Um, let's have a look at this one. Bam, here, plan B. This is a beautiful tweet. A few months ago, people said that the stock to flow model was invalidated, broken, because all models are broken to the upside. Now, people think the stock to flow model is again invalidated, broken, and Bitcoin is dead, because some Ellen Benning hacking FUD, in my opinion, is normal deviation, like in 2019 bottom or COVID 2020 what does he mean that is not over look the bottom of this blue channel that is the moment you buy that is the moment you make profit that was there you know that was there at the COVID. it was over yes the stock to flow model is invalid and that's the moment you need to buy and we went hugely up and then here again people are screaming all oh, models are broken we are going down to zero again we are at the bottom at that blue cloud again that is the moment you should be buying guys these are the important moments to buy. These are the moments that you can make the most profit if you step into Bitcoin at that point. Let's jump into the next two charts and then I'm finished, guys. Um, let's jump into, bam, this one over here. Um, very interesting chart as well. I'm going to draw on this one a little bit um, so that you understand why it's interesting. Look, guys, the 250 day moving average that we were talking about, you know, that bearish cross here. In 2013 there in this area we almost had that bearish cross can you see but we made a nosedive and we didn't cross we bounced up before the cross happened maybe I need to do it like this it's more clear there in this area and this is a bearish cross that really was a bearish cross that was the start of the bear run 
bam. Here, in 2017, again, almost crossing, but not crossing, and that meant the start of this huge bull run. Here, this was a valid bearish cross, and we went down. So what is this going to be? Are we going to cross, or are we not going to cross? And if we cross, could we form another situation like we saw over there? Crossing, but crossing back up again. That is the question. But in my opinion, if you look to the bottom over there, yes, we are at the bottom and we need to bounce again up here. So that is what I think. But if you look at this one, bam, last chart of the day, guys, of course. This is also a really cool chart. I've been tracking this chart already since the beginning of Bitcoin. Um, this um, is, is the source is uh, I think was Trollo Lolo or something from a Bitcoin talk at that days. Um, it, it kept track on everything. And the beautiful part of this one was that it was very accurate because here 22nd of uh, November in 2017, we did reach the 10K level at the, that point over there beautiful moment and now we've been tracking this line 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 this has been updated you can see the difference in the green line we should be if you look at the chart reaching 100k around the 16th of july there at that point so we should be going up like this and break it and then come down something like that but if this is not going to happen it's one of the first points on this chart that we didn't come through with uh, what the chart was telling us. The 10,000 came through, the $1,000 came through, this one, the $100, they all happened on those moments. So let's see if we will see another point on the 16th of July, if we would see a 100K then, this chart was like, I don't know who created it, but maybe it was Satoshi, <laughs> because then it was too perfect almost. But let's, bam, end the video. That was the very short TA update, guys. If you enjoyed the flies hitting my face and all that stuff over here, and the video, then please give the video a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment. What do you think about these charts? And are there any other charts that you want me to analyze? Leave it down below. Yes. I will take a look at Ethereum and I can take a look at other charts. Let me know down below in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you later today. No, today I'm not going to do a family video, but I will continue the family videos maybe tomorrow or the day after again, guys. Uh, we had a short family break. So that is a family video filming break. No break up. No break up. <laughs> see you tomorrow, guys. Guys, uh, See you tomorrow again, guys. Talking too much. Oh, my God. Bam.